Okay, the fundamental principle of fractions also works with multiplication. Remember we said earlier that you can take a fraction, any fraction, and divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. Well, it also works if you multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. So write this down. This is the fundamental principle stated with multiplication. A over B will always equal A times C over B times C. And so you can see what we did. We took the numerator and multiplied it by C and the denominator and multiplied it by C. And as long as you're multiplying by the same number, the result is a fraction that is equal to the original. Now you might remember when we were dividing by the same number on the top and the bottom, the numbers would get smaller each time we divided and that helped us simplify numbers. Here we're multiplying the numbers and the numbers tend to get larger when you multiply so we end up not simplifying. We end up actually getting numbers that are larger and less manageable at times. However, this is just as important. Understanding that this works with multiplication is just as important as understanding that it works with division. And being able to do this, being able to take a fraction and rewrite it as an equivalent fraction by multiplying the top and the bottom by the same number is very important. We'll be doing that a lot with some later operations on fractions that show up in the course. So let's do a couple of examples of this now. The first one, rewrite 3 sevenths with the denominator of 28. Okay, here's how we do this. We're going to write 3 sevenths equals, and we're going to have some other fraction over here that has a denominator of 28. So go ahead and write the denominator of 28. The question is, what do we write up here? We need a number in the numerator that will give us a fraction over here that is equivalent to the original fraction. And here's how to think about this. 7 had to be multiplied by 4 to give us 28. And the fundamental principle says we need to multiply the top and the bottom by the same number. So we need to take this 3 and multiply it by 4 and put the result over here. And 3 times 4 is 12. And you can see what we did here because I wrote it in blue. We took the numerator and the denominator and multiplied them both by 4. The resulting fraction, 12 28 is equivalent to 3 7 And so we did what we were told to do, write it with a denominator of 28. Another example, rewrite 2 fifths with a denominator of 50. So we're going to write 2 fifths equals some fraction with a denominator of 50. And in my mind, I think, and you can actually write this like I'm doing right now if you want to, but in your mind you think, 5 times what gives you 50? Well, 5 times 10 gives me 50. So if I multiply the denominator by 10, I need to multiply the numerator by 10. 2 times 10 is 20. So 2 fifths is the same as 20 fiftieths. Those are equivalent fractions. And this one has a denominator of 50.